The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotvis warriors! Okay, so there's a spy, okay. Just assassinate this dude, Wagwan, yo. This one was gonna come alone. I should find the others. Have a look, Sudan. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. There's no restart mission. No none. What's up, Sassicus? Been a while. How are you doing? Feeling, just the three of us. We should return to not fall with our report. We can. We can bring Chutve new to the mad. monsters. Or we can wake him with Sigurd Styrbjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right. When Yot returns, we weigh our next move. Is he Valhalla? You should definitely give it a go if you get a chance. I've been enjoying it so far. Then again, I enjoy almost all Assassin's Creed games, so... You know. Time for you. Where I am, it's like five o'clock at night. Woo! Nice try. It's lunchtime where you are. I'm guessing you're probably in America, okay? Because I'm down here in uh. In UK, so it's five at p.m. here. I was grinding out some Call of Duty earlier. You know, before the launch of season four. But I wasn't really feeling it, so I hopped off. I was like, I'll play something I enjoy, you know? <laughs> Looking for the brother, okay? He'll know what to do. With each oh, day look wait, at all these soldiers. Kjotve grow stronger. I, we do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kyotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Nordfall. That whaling village under Kyotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Looks like he doesn't trust us. Hi. 
Or do I just open? I bet. Where's my crew at, though? Off we go. Come on, y'all get ready. We must grow in these waters. They took the sailor mechanic from um, Black Ops 3. Sorry, not Black Ops 3. From, <laughs> shores, from Black Flags. I grew afraid, not see. afraid I would not return in time to see Kurt Vest and Afraid That's the wind. I would not see him bleed out like a stuck Sorry, pig in a place. drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love. In this glorious fight, today we seize Nochtfall from Kurt Vest. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow, it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon, the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. <laughs> you know <laughs> the fight for Valhalla here. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, hey, Ward. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevian did not trust fate for both our lives. We have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Again? This walk this seems I will go a bit no just a bit different. Vengeance now. You run like a cow. Supply wagons. We should Wait, Supply wagons. We should destroy them.
And I didn't throw it well enough. Nope. Still nothing? Okay. This time for sure. Oh, for crying out loud. There we are. Ships are coming! Ships are coming, aye. Get with Hail Raventland! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kyrtwe's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kyotre broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kyotre and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kyrtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kyrtvis stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. This one's near its end, another one will be in. I'm certain he's about to betray us, honestly. Even I can see it, and I know, tactician. He'll betray us, or Sigurd will betray us, one or the other. One of them will turn out to have been working with the uh, other dude, honestly. Kid Finn or whatever. I need your eyes, my friend. Speak to Sigurd. First... I loot. This guy not see me? I bet. Show me where the gold is. Down there, okay. Ha! Bitch. 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 Who the fuck do you think you are? Slaughtered the Raven Clan for good. I think I should murder that kid. Look at those reflections on the water. Ooh wee! Go back like nothing ever happened. 
So, that detour. Not necessary, but uh, here we are. Just gonna act like nothing happened and carry on what the game has intended. Let's just gonna make a quick little montage. Eivor, Hello, you missed the opening act. Kurtve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kurtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyotve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Yes. Today my blade Let's. must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors, and cut short the cord of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, hide them. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself? We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone. ...but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kyotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Was that? Sigurd Horson! Slink around my walls like a thief in the night. Face me here now. The fight is mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. Me, avoid my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. You dance better than you fight. <laughs> your death!
Embrace your destiny! Fuck's sake. How the fuck did you get me there? Jesus! Good lord. Got all the herbs now. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Pray for death. <laughs> oh, heck. Your blood! Your flesh will feed my wolves! So we have to unblock them. Father is 
accept the sacrifice. Heed the price of old war was kissed. The harvest of three dead generations are their names unknown. It all means nothing. No. My plan will not be forgotten! I fought as I did, as hard as I did, to survive, for I know what awaits us in the end. Only darkness. <laughs> Forward if you must, into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gordon. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers, fire. To glory! Oh, quick to be. So I guess I have to climb. Am I the only one though who thinks that uh Odin is with us? Odin looks a lot like uh Ezio. Oh, oh. Honestly, I'm vibing right now. Get over that wall. Take down the gate. Y'all waiting for me, bro? Take down the gate. Oh, 
guys push, I've seen loot. Loot is the essence of my being right now. But how do I get this loot? I don't know. I shall simply return for it then. Where are you going? Get your ass back up in Okay. Now we push. Go and put in the church, you say. Church doors now. That's clearly not working, so we just sneak in through the top. Assuming that's possible, that is. Gorm is hiding. Are we supposed to be a Viking, you know? Proud Viking warrior is not supposed to hide like a bitch. I guess this isn't the way to get him. Why are you going up? I want you down. Father. How do I get my hands around this slippery serpent? I need guidance. Oh. Blind pursuit of vengeance. Has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. They're trying to burn me and lol. I'm a seasoned pro, son. rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He's led north to King Harald's domain. 
Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ria Vilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guthormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Ulrikstadir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunan. Another time. Where is my armor? You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim. Watch over this one, and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, their allegiance hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. Did I just watch Avo be groomed? I think Avo's being groomed. Oh, what makes you forgettable? Dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade yeah, or hammer, grooming. for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. I'm being groomed? I mean, taught basic knowledge, honestly. 
And in case I was oh, you want to say hidden? You will need to put up your hood for the tr trick to work. No place to go for my hood. Boom is there, in the camp ahead. Hmm. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? <gasps> Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. Evil! You Arka shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harold's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd. Dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. Tell me Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. And may the fates grant you good luck. My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve Slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm? I name you Worm, and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. 
My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Björnjarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. There was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death, but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. I think the Raven clan's gonna flee to England. Harold's colors. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Yeah. Are you one of Harold's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harold take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. So I can stealth kill him. Which honestly makes me think that uh, I will follow my brother to war against Harold's men. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in and keep your voice down. You will alert Harold's men. Where will we live? Happen. The English will fight back! The wars will never end! Or they will push us into the crit- Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. 
Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotve's riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Well, heck, the docks, I guess. I mean, I, 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 I folded the seagull because at the end of the day, for now anyway, he is still my brother. I must look out for him. I must defend him. I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you when Kieran I don't want to cause him problems. Here he is, dear brother. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. The act of leaving so beloved a home. There is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's time to go. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look. Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. 
I will be his anger, Lord. No. You must be his better half. May Agiv bless your voyage. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Draghi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! For Valhalla!